Hi guys, my name is Ricky. I'm a fit and well instructor and personal trainer at Laura Trot Leisure Centre. Today I'm going to take you into the gym. I'm going to have a go at some of my favourite methods of training in the gym. Again, hopefully this will benefit you in terms of your training when you come for your next visit. Okay, right guys, we're going to go through another one of my favourite exercises. Okay, we're going to be using the Concept 2 rower, which is a very good piece of underrated equipment which we use in the gym for doing cardiovascular. A lot of people tend to use the rower with good form, however there's one or two people that might use it with bad form and not quite aware of it. So what I'm going to do is just do a demonstration on the rower, how to do a technique properly, and I'm going to teach you a few, one or two little secrets in terms of doing interval training here. Once you get on the rower, make sure you secure your feet in at the bottom, okay, make sure when you're insecure they're not going to come off the pedals at the bottom. Grab the handles, knees in tight together, arms are just about in line, chest to shoulders, drive through the legs, pull the handle into your chest to abdominal area, and going forwards, back and forth. What you want to avoid doing is using a short range of motion, and not going the full way towards your chest and shoulders. Okay? Try and make sure you use all your range of motion with your arms, and as you go forward, extend your arms and bend your knees simultaneously. So as you go back, use that full range of motion, and really work the upper body, back and legs, okay? Okay guys, right, now we've gone through the fundamentals of using a rower, we're gonna have a go at one of my favorite types of training, which is intervals, okay? A lot of people tend to use the treadmill for doing intervals on, but we're gonna have a go at doing it on the rower. We're gonna have a go, rather than doing like just 10 minutes on the machine, just going at a casual pace, we're gonna go flat out for 10 seconds, you don't have to do 10 seconds, you could do 30 or even up to a minute. The choice is yours guys, depends on what your fitness levels are. If you go onto the rower, just set yourself up like you did before. Make sure you've got sufficient resistance on there, just so it challenges you for that 30 seconds or that split time that you're going to do. Go as hard as you can. Good technique, make sure your back stays straight. Try to falter with your arms and legs. Once you reach that time, you're aiming for, there is 10, 20, 30 seconds, hit, and just rest, okay? If you need to take time for recovery, okay, up to a minute, then rest, and then have a go at another 30 seconds, okay? If you feel 30 seconds is not challenging you, try up to a minute, and do a minute on and a minute off, okay guys?